Every year in football, you have what people call cheese plays. And every single year, I find the best counters against them. If you want to be able to lock down all the cheese plays in NCAA 25 and Madden 25, make sure that you go in the link in the description and get the ebook or become a Patreon member. Shout out to everybody that's been showing support lately. These guys have been able to lock down the run, lock down the RPO, lock down the pass, three man, four man, blitzes, you name it, we got it. Updated every single week and after every single patch. What up? What up, beautiful people? Welcome back to the channel. All my OGs out there, shout out to y'all. Y'all been killing that like button. If you're new to the channel, guess what? It's free. Come join the fam. Comment down below for the algorithm. Drop a thumbs up on the video. Let's go over how to stop every run in College Football 25 and how to be better at stopping the pass. Starting with the depth chart. You want to go to where it says rush defensive tackle and you want to look through your depth chart. Anybody with these two abilities, inside disruptor or outside disruptor, and if they have both, it don't matter whether it's bronze, silver, gold, you want them on your defensive line on first down and second down. Reason why is because first and second down, people are more inclined to run the ball so we're gonna have auto flip off for this setup that i'm giving you in the video make sure that you watch the entire video 425 over g is a lot of plays with the 425 you want to come out and cover four flipped so that slot receiver should be on the left hand side but i'm in the cover zero shell so y or triangle then r1 or rb that's gonna show blitz that's gonna bring them safeties down closer into the box after that you're gonna shift your line to the left now if the running back is on the left you're gonna shift away from the running back i like to crash down you can blitz that guy in the middle but you want to try to crash down once or twice to get this double gap make him control the center and you should get a free runner but the whole point is to make sure that your inside disruptor ability or outside disruptor ability is doing his job so when we look at the replay okay we got the free blitzer coming in from this setup so if it's an inside zone or some kind of option he's gonna be free okay now you can see as soon as they hike the ball my inside disruptor he's not getting off his block super fast he does shed once he tries to go to the outside so remember you're gonna show blitz watch the video over and over one key thing is i like to have outside uh containment on the safety on the left and i like to have inside on the safety on the right because if they streak the tight end down the field, I want him in the inside third. I don't want them to be able to throw the ball fast down the seams. But as you can see, he's shooting the gap and my inside disruptor is getting off the block right there. So if he missed that tackle, my inside disruptor would have been there to clean it up. Okay. And then also you have your user. So be patient with your user and strafe. Now, the same look showing blitz shifting to the left let's say they come out in the same type of formation now you can send pressure by blitzing that cornerback that'd be yy or triangle triangle just blitz him you have the same exact looking setup except you're not blitzing the linebacker and if we hover right here and we hold the left trigger and we just move down or to the left a little bit you're going to get a free rusher now you can also see a disengage from the end 425 defensive playbook whether you play franchise whether you plan cut, it don't matter. Regs, if you find a defensive playbook that has 425 and dime rush and all of them, then you are in a good situation to be able to stop the run and stop the pass and be able to blitz all from the same exact look. If you enjoyed the breakdown, make sure that you drop a thumbs up on the video. Patreon and ebookers, there's a full update coming later on today with dime, double mug, more adjustments, more blitzes, four-man pressure, five-man pressure, and lockdown defense.